Hello there, I'm Sean Grizzly and welcome to another edition of our SQL tutorials. In this tutorial I will be describing the use of foreign keys within our SQL environment. Well, one might ask why use a foreign key? Well, if you again have used Oracle or Access before you will notice that uh, when you make use of primary keys um, to ensure uh, that the environment works okay with primary keys and other tables you need to make use of foreign keys and in some cases compound keys uh, what this does is quite hard to explain but um, if you type data into a customer table for example as we have below and you put data into the account table like so you need to link these tables in order to share information for example, if you type in customer in a customer, for example, label on an access form, then you want to, or query, sorry, and you want to display the rest of the details for the customer. So if you type customer account number here and insert the values 1, 2, 3, if that customer exists within the database, then it will call up this table here and automatically display the name of this customer, the address of this customer and the area in which the customer resides. So that is what uh, foreign keys are used for and now we're going to see how to use foreign keys within the SQL environment. Uh, as we start this tutorial I have already created uh, two tables uh, one is the account table, the customer account, which holds uh, his or her details, and the uh, second is the customer table, which uh, holds all the personal information about this customer. And we created this table in the last example, as you can see. That that's the primary key of this table, and this is the primary key of this table. Uh, we now want to create a linking table, which we can insert a compound foreign key in order to share information between these two tables. So as we begin, these two tables are totally individual, they have no relationships within each other. We want to create this third table and we'll call this customer account example. And this table will uh, hold two fields, uh, namely account number and reference number as a compound foreign key. So let's have a look how we can do this. So for starters we can create our fields using the same type specifiers here. Make sure they are the same otherwise uh, it will throw back errors. I worry about all the commas later, we'll just get all the fields in place and we'll know what we're dealing with here. Okay so in its simplest form uh, this is how we're going to do this. Let's insert our commas in now. Okay. Now in this space here we need to create uh, the foreign key statement and references to each table. In order to do this we're going to have to state and tell SQL that these two fields are a compound uh, foreign key within this table. To do this we need to say um, we need to call up the primary key statement but include both account number and ref number within this statement. So if we say primary key then insert the two fields which are namely account number and ref number. There we go. Uh, now we've told SQL these are primary key fields unique to this table. We need to tell SQL that um, we need to make each field a foreign key and uh, also tell SQL that we need to link these two fields to these two tables. In order to do this we use the foreign key statement here using our first field account number. We then say references because we're making a reference to the table in which the primary key resides. So account number we're taking uh, we're contacting this foreign key here from the table account which is this one. The name of this table is account, it doesn't actually say but um, just go with me on this one. So it references account, that's the name of that table 
and the foreign key within this table as you can see is account number and that is how you do that so we're telling SQL that it's a primary key of these two fields our first foreign key is account number which refer references this table of the unique primary key account number we need uh, then need to specify the other foreign key which is ref number which references the table name of cust of the unique field ref number like so so uh, now we've done that we can go ahead and create the table remember no comma on the last statement within the create table syntax uh, we then execute this as you can see our linking table has been created and let's run a select on this so, uh, select As you see, no row selected, so let's uh, describe this. Sorry, so we can see what we have just made here. Okay, this is what we have just created uh, using the previous statement. So we created a field called account number and ref number, which in turn, uh, let's get all the tables up, it might be a little bit clearer. there so um, what we have here we have an account table we have a customer table and we have the foreign key linking table as you can see um, whether they are primary keys or foreign keys is shown by the not null here because primary keys can't handle null values uh, account number links to this account number ref number links to this ref number and as you can see the data you input into the database will function and have referential integrity about the data so that is how to add foreign keys uh, within the SQL environment I hope this tutorial wasn't too challenging it was quite hard to get around and describe but um, hopefully with a bit of practice and patience you will master this art of foreign and primary keys I've been Sean Grizzly. thank you for listening and goodbye <laughs>